Hey guys, it's Mike's Moon Creator, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be filming the 10th episode of Minecraft Metropolis. As you can see, the biggest thing that's been added to the city is this new sports and multi-purpose complex. As you can see, it has a swimming pool that has the letter, the numbers for 2021 on it, because it's going to be holding a swimming competition for this year. And then... You can see all the diving boards and then all the chairs that are set up along it because you can't really have stadium seating when there's no stadium. So let's go down to one of the entrances. So as you can see, this is actually a hotel on this part of the thing. Your first walk in, you have some seating. And then you have your front desk with some plants. You have a horse just randomly sit walking around and then this is the exact same thing for all the hotel floors you have a island chairs and a couch and then you have your full kitchen sink oven and your bathroom and then your bedroom so now we can skip all those extra floors there we go we're here now and now we're actually in the tennis court locker rooms so the tennis court is right here and we have the changing rooms for whatever team you want wow and then we have our three bathrooms right here and we have another changing room for the other team and so now let's go on to the court There's been a lot of lighting glitches in this world recently, and I've just been having to just like release these to get rid of them. So now this is our tennis court, quite straightforward. And then we have our seating area, so you can sit up here and watch the tennis court. If you want to bring binoculars, you can watch the pot, where people can come and get snacks and eat them whenever they're watching the swimming pool. And then we have some sweet seating up here. And that's the same thing for down here. Now let's go to the other side of the building. So over here is another swimming pool locker room. It has all the bathrooms and the changing rooms. Same thing. And then we're going to go down. Here is our basketball court. As you can see, they have the nets, or what I tried to make nets with the cobwebs, and then the acacia wood floors. And we also have the seating up here, like we had over at the tennis courts. Now we're gonna go up. And this is also another restaurant. As you can see, this is just seating so we're gonna go find that kitchen here we are in this kitchen this is where they prepare all the foods we have all the ovens the sinks and the prep area right here the composting bins the fridges and the more sinks so this is where they all prepare the food and all these floors right here are unoccupied. They're supposed to be office space whenever they get the chance to fill up. And now that we've finished this building, let's go on to our next part. I was really in the mood to make a lot of restaurants recently, so... This is what my take on would be like a historical restaurant that's got renovated from an old office building into a brand new restaurant and it has a culinary school throughout the other floors. So when you first walk in, you have the waiting, the receptionist right here, or whatever you call that. We have a waiting table and then we have some indoor dining and then we have our outdoor dining right here with all these cool vines just to show some age.
And this is the only finished floor for the culinary school. We have all of our prep stations. We have our chopping board, our sink, and our ovens. Then we have our waste bins and our composters. And then we have all of our coffee machines or whatever you want to call them and this thing. And then we have our fridges over here and right there. And all of our other floors are just empty right now. And this is where the other tables will be for our guests. If you fly out here, we have another restaurant being built. It's not finished yet, as you can see. It's sort of like a barn style. It's going to be like a southern home-cooked meal. It has sort of like a dorm style roof. It's made out of the stripped oak logs, I believe that's it. And then it has an underground prep area. And another addition is that we have finally have s traffic lights for Main Street. I decided to make my own design. So sort of just make it curved and then have it horizontal. And there's only four in the city so far. I just built them last night. Just flying through. And our latest addition is... Our fifth house on this row is finally complete, so this entire row of houses is complete. And now we have a road connecting this road, so you can finally drive around this. And then construction will probably start after this video for all the new condos coming along here. And our government tower, the final stories of the building, are finally finished. They have been sitting, like, empty and unfinished for a while. So those are finally finished. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.